Danny, you ready? Okay. Well, to everyone that's here, thanks so much for coming out. We're so happy to be here and to perform for you. Sure, I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to introduce the band to you. On the bass, we have Eric Gruber. Give it up for Eric Gruber. And on the drums, we have Michael Rayner. Give it up for Michael Rayner. My name is George Colligan. Thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to me and anyone else, but especially me. And uh, we're going to start off. This is a composition of mine. We're going to do mostly my compositions, maybe a couple other things. This first song is called Clearing the Mind. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much.
Thank you very much. Um, so we started out with a song of mine called Clearing the Mind. And then our second song was uh, called Zizzer Zazzer Zuz. And that's from uh, the great literature, of course, 
Dr. Seuss, if you're familiar. If you have kids, you probably... Actually, I, I'm trying to remember what book it's from. It's from like the, al the basic alphabet book of Dr. Seuss. And, uh, so, um, and then the final tune, or not final tune, our third tune, <coughs> we, we have more music, um, was called Time to Wind Down. Again, um, if you have children, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's time to wind down, but maybe with a, an expletive or two in there because it's like I have two boys who are very rambunctious. And uh, so my oldest son the other day, he had been having some very weird kind of nightmares, and he was really kind of freaked out, like those kind of things where you're like, you know, in, there's a bunch of people in front of you, and you're in your underwear and that, that kind of thing, like a lot of anxiety type of stuff. I said, don't worry, son. None of your dreams will ever come true. <laughs> <laughs> true story. Um, so uh, we're going to continue now um, with, uh, this is uh, actually, I want you to guess, um, and you don't really have to be a sophisticated jazz listener. Uh, it's You have to be in a certain age bracket, though. And it's a little bit obscure, but occasionally somebody will guess it. So this is uh, a television theme. And you got to be me, like my age or older to even be familiar with this show. And if if you know the show, it's it's we're playing it different from how it is. But I'll explain after we do it. So um, I just, I'm curious to see if anybody can... Um, can figure it out. So this is yet to be named television theme. Thank you so much.
You, sir. You know, this happens every time. People, they go like this, and I'm like, what is it? And they're like, no, I, I don't know. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. It's actually, huh? Nope, nope. <laughs> You're way off. No, it's from the it's from the 80s. So okay, okay. Do you know who Robert Guillaume was? So what was his show in the 80s? Benson, thank you. Danny, was that you? No. Oh, anyway, so that yeah, it wasn't the, the a hit show necessarily, but so the way it came about is. Um, you don't win anything. You don't win anything. <laughs> uh, so my best friend is a TV nut, and he, when Robert Guillaume passed, he sent me a text that said, oh, Robert Guillaume died. And then he sent me the theme. I mean, of course, I, I used to watch the show, but it's so long ago. Um, and um, I was listening to it. I was like, this is kind of kind of a hip theme and I just I wrote it out I was going to play it for my friend give him make him a little recording as a birthday present and I, I kind of looked at the the chords I was like this is a hip tune so whoever wrote this and I I still haven't figured out who wrote it but it's like um very very hip song so um anyway that's that's Benson for you and we're going to continue now what's what's next on our list so next is a totally brand spanking new song premiered tonight is called Humility. Thank you so much for listening. Once again, Michael Rayner is on the drums. <laughs> Eric Gruber is on the bass.
Thank you very much. Michael Rayner on the drums. Eric Gruber on the bass. I'm George Colligan. I think we've earned a break. Can we take a short break? Awesome. Please don't leave. <laughs>
Thank you. That was Equinox by the great John Coltrane. What is that? You want to try it? Yeah. You have anything by me? Sure. Yeah, I'll do it with you. Let's do it too. Well, then you can do the last one. Okay, this one, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one I wrote r just a few days after uh, the our, my prime minister was uh, killed. Uh, it's called Rabin. Uh, again, we, I didn't see him for, I never met this guy, but I didn't see him for many years and he just showed up to the gig. So yeah. first of all, let's give a hand I to Chris Seimer. <laughs> oh, you, you just came to the gig, you didn't know? <laughs> so this one is Rabin and uh, Again, it's very loose, very free, and it's a pleasure to play for you, by the way. Thank you.
Sticking around, everybody, and uh, we're going to play our second set for you. I um, want to thank uh, Danny Kolke for, for booking us and uh, putting this all together. Give it up for Danny Kolke. <laughs> and uh, we're going to play some more original music for you. Uh, this next tune is called Lost on Fourth Avenue, and I'm speaking of... Uh, uh, Fourth Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. I lived in Brooklyn for a number of years. I'm not from New York, really. I was actually born in New Jersey, which if you know geography, it's very close. It's, it missed it by that much. Um, it's like the sixth borough. Um, but uh, I did live in Brooklyn for a number of years, and uh, but now I'm a tourist because I haven't lived in New York in about 12 years, so... I go back and get on the wrong train. Super embarrassing. So, um, <coughs> so this was this was I was lost on Fourth Avenue. I didn't recognize it. It was so, so sort of built up and gentrified. I didn't know where I was. And I, then I found out I was supposed to be on Third Avenue. So, so this is lost on Fourth Avenue. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Featured Eric Gruber on the bass. Give it up for Eric Gruber. <laughs> and Michael Rayner on the drums. So uh, now for something completely different. Uh, this, this instrument right here, uh, trumpet is called, right? Yeah. Some of you know. This was given to me as a gift for Christmas. And uh, you know, I just figured how hard could it be? I mean, it looks so easy. and. Uh, I watched a number of YouTube tutorials, which is how you learn anything okay. in our society. Actually, you know, not to brag about my sons, but uh, my oldest is 13 now. When he was 11, he uh, built his own computer from, uh, from components that uh, clearly I could not help him with because I'm a Mac person, so I just turn it on and hope it works. But uh, he learned just from YouTube, and it was like 15 components, and I ordered them because I have the credit card, and, and he put it all together himself, and that's what he's been using. So he's really snooty about it, too. Yeah. He's like, oh, I would never use a pre-built computer, you know. So, but anyway, so I decided to learn how to play trumpet from YouTube tutorials. You don't believe me, do you? <laughs> uh, I actually, uh, my, my degree, um, one of my degrees uh, was in classical trumpet from Peabody Conservatory. So, um, but trumpet is, is just hard. So uh, I'm good for about one song. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is You Don't Know What Love Is. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. We're now going to do a uh, brand, very another brand new song, <coughs> and uh, infer what you will. This song is called Hillary Clinton's Emails. Well, it's a working title.
much Michael Rayner on the drums Eric Gruber on the bass I'm George Collian on piano thank you so much for being a wonderful audience and thanks again to Danny Kolke and uh, Boxley's and uh, we appreciate it thank you so much good night